Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's topic is going to be on C interview questions on printf statements. Okay, so I'll be te teaching you a few of the code snippets and how the code snippets will work. What are the output that we are going to get making use of only printf statements. So what is the basic syntax? The first example that I've written here is only the basic syntax of printf statements. Once after me teaching you this particular concept, then, then let's move on to some of the few important placement interview questions. Okay. So printf, printf is a keyword within printf, open and close the brackets. Within double quotes, whatever string you type, that particular string will be displayed as, displayed as the output. Okay. So let me just run this code within the main method. Within the main method, I just write printf statement. Okay. So let's run the code and check what is the output we are getting. So we get hello world, right? That is the string within printf statement will be printed. So printf statement is the output statement, fine. Okay, now let's move on to the actual code snippets. Okay, now see this particular code. The previous example which I had taught you was only printf, right? Only printf statement within hello world. Now what is this concept? It is printf within printf. Okay, so printf is within printf. There are two nested printf statements. So what will be the output? Now come here, printf, line number 6, printf, what value I am printing? I am trying to print a decimal value with the format specifier percentage d followed by, there should be some memory reference, right? I have to retrieve the value from the memory and then I have to print. But here I am just printing the output of printf, right? There is one more function which is called printf function, okay? So what will this do? First, the innermost printf will get executed and then the outermost printf will come and execute, fine. So coming here, first the innermost printf will be executed. What is the answer here? It will print hello world. So the output will be hello world. Then the return value, please understand the return value of printf statements will be the number of characters it has displayed. So the innermost printf is executed by displaying hello world onto the terminal as output, right? Hello world is being printed, but how many characters are printed here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, space 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 characters are printed onto the terminal. So, the output of any printf statements will be after printing the specified string onto the terminal, the return value of printf will be the number of characters it has printed. Got it? So, how many characters this in the most printf was, uh, in the most printf has printed? 11 characters. So, this particular statement will be replaced by 11. So, after the execution here, you will have printf. Okay. So, percentage D. Then, this printf will be replaced by 11. Got it? Okay. So, printf, I am printing some integer value as it is. But what value? The second argument is one more printf statement. What will this printf statement do? It will display hello world onto the terminal. After printing hello world, the entire statement will be replaced by the return value of printf. But what will be the return value of printf? It is the number of characters it has displayed onto the terminal. So how many characters? 11 characters. So 11 will be replaced here. Okay. So now what is the output? Hello world followed by percentage D will now print 11. So the answer will be hello world 11. So let's check, check the output here. I'll run the code. Okay, I'll just remove this uh, comment line. Now I'll run the code. See what is the answer I've got? Hello world and 11. Okay, so hello world followed by 11. First it will print hello world. After printing hello world, the return value of printf statement will be 11. So it will be replaced by 11 here. Followed by, once once the outermost printf is uh, executing, for the first character is new line. So hello world, it will come to new line and then it will print the percentage d which means the argument value okay that will be 11 suppose if i take slash n so what will be the output here hello world within the same line 11 will be printed now check the output so hello world 11 so i have if i include a new line character here check for the output after printing hello world second when second time it's printing the output of this printf statement new line will be created and then 11 will be printed okay this is the second one. Let's move on to the third question. Okay, what is the third question? Can you see? How many printf statements are there? There are three printf statements. Innermost printf, outermost and the final outermost printf, right? So, there are print three printf statements. Now, what will happen? Come here printf. So, it should print a decimal value. 
from which argument from the remaining arguments right but remaining arguments there are one more printf statements what is that again it will come to this printf so it should print another integer value again from which argument it should take the argument is one more printf statement so first innermost printf will be executed so what is the answer first it will print hello world the return value of this will be replaced by 11 correct hello world is already printed 11 then this printf will print the return value 11 right now see it will be printf percentage d comma printf percentage d comma 11 after printing hello world after printing hello world the current statement will be like this printf percentage d printf 11 right now this particular printf the second printf will print 11 right so output will be hello world followed by 11 right now what is the return value of this printf it has printed 11 right so how many characters it has printed two characters so this, this complete statement will be replaced by two finally you will have printf percentage d and two what is the answer you will get two fine see i'll, re I'll uh, explain again there are three printf statements first the innermost printf will print hello world hello world is printed onto the terminal return value of this printf will be 11 so this in second printf statement will print 11 okay then second printf is printing 11 how many characters two characters this printf is printing only two characters okay so which means third printf will print 2 so the output will be hello world 11 and 2 okay hello world and 12 why 12 here printf hello world followed by slash in there's one more slash in right if I remove slash in, it will be hello world 11 and 2. Okay. If I give slash in here, backslash n. Now run the code. Hello world 11 and why 3? Because hello world, after printing hello world, you are coming to new line, it is creating a new line and then you print 11, right? So, how many characters? New line followed by 11. So, there are 3 characters. So, the outermost printf will print 3 characters. Got it? Okay, now let us move on to the next question, the fourth question. What is the fourth question? Within main method, you have int x is equal to 10, printf percentage d, there is only one, see the syntax here. If you print percentage d, what is the answer we will get? We will get some garbage value because percentage d should point to the memory reference, retrieve the value from the memory and it should be displayed, right? But what, what is the second argument? I am not specifying the second argument. So, the output will be a garbage value. So, what is the output? Such kind of question, it will be garbage value. Okay, got it. Now, let us run the code. Ignore about the warning. It is just the warning because I am not following the actual format of printf statements here because it is the format specify I am specifying. That is I am getting this warning. Now, see the output here. What is the output? It is a garbage value got it okay so this kind of output you will a code snippet you will get garbage value as the output next one okay this is quite interesting now observe int a is equal to 5 return hello within double quotes after double quotes plus 1 comma a what will be the output i am passing the value here hello output will be if it is plus 1 here after the string, H will be ignored, one character will be ignored, output will be E L L O. Okay, now let us check the output here. Ignore about the warnings because I am not following the actual printer format here. Okay, now see E L L O, which means that is kind of code snippets what you will get. H E L L O is the string. If I give plus 1, H will be removed. Okay, one character from left side will be deleted the remaining characters characters will be printed okay so this is the output of this code snippet let's move on to the next one now i, I hope you can easily answer this uh, question print as hello plus two after double quotes plus two which means first two characters will be ignored and remaining three characters will be displayed displayed so let's check okay llo see the output here it is l l o okay okay next one okay now this should be very interesting because it is pointer variable character pointer is equal to hello world so ptr is the character pointer variable 
hello world is the string okay now what i'm doing i'm printing ptr plus 2 which means ptr plus 1 means one character one byte ptr plus 2 two characters because each character will occupy one byte because of this character data type got it so what it will do ptr plus 2 now check the output it will remove the first two characters see the output here llo world so it will remove the first two characters and then it will print you got it understood this is using pointer variable the previous example which i taught you is not pointer variable within the printf statements itself i am just printing the i am just ignoring the characters and then print the remaining characters but here using pointer variable if this is the question ptr plus 2 okay if i give ptr plus 1 what will happen it will only ignore one character because it is one byte one character will occupy one byte character is of size one byte now let's run the code see here you will get e l l o world okay the, these are warnings you can just ignore the warning this is the output you will get okay e l l o i followed by world okay now see the next question will also be very interesting ptr plus 2 same question but what is the data type here it is integer pointer variable it is integer variable right a pointer variable of type integer data type what will happen hello world i'm printing what is the actual size here it will be 4 bytes right 4 bytes integer occupies 4 bytes ptr plus 1 means observe if i give ptr plus 1 okay address current address value which is pointing to the first byte plus 1 means 4 bytes okay 4 bytes means how many characters 4 characters h e l l okay so it will ignore h e l l the first 4 characters and the remaining characters will be printed you got it whether when it is character one character will occupy one byte since it is integer i am just i am just ignoring one integer one integer value which means 4 bytes of the string 4 bytes means h e l l okay now let's run you will get O followed by world. Okay, there's a uh, throwing here one second. Sorry. Line number, I have just, uh, I haven't removed the comment line. Okay, now let's run. I'll just make change here one okay now let's run see here o space since it's pointer variable right i'm getting this warning in some other uh, editors if you do where some other editors since it's online editor i'm just getting errors like this o space this is a warning okay o space world fine o space world so h e l l h e l l will be ignored you will get o space w o r l d okay o space world will be the output this is the output you will get okay okay now if it is 2 i will make it to 2 what is the answer you will get 4 plus 4 8 bytes so h e l l 4 5 6 7 and 8 you will get r l d as the answer now let's run the code you will get only r l d as the answer see r l d you will get r l d as the answer got it okay this is how you ignore few characters and display few characters using pointer variable next one just observe this code please observe this code this part of code snippet it is pointer again int x is equal to 10 star ptr for ptr is a pointer variable what is the value of x 10 okay ptr is equal to address of x which means a ptr will point to x okay what is star ptr is equal to 0 now let me just trace and teach you okay x equal to 10 suppose x is stored at address 1000 okay at 1000 at address 1000 x value is being stored in the memory next ptr you have one more ptr suppose if ptr is stored at address 2000 okay i am not giving any value to ptr here in this line then come to the next line what is ptr value ptr which means 2000 it's been pointed at address 2000 ptr is equal to what is this address of x what is address of x 1000 so ptr will have 1000 okay now next 
see this particular line star ptr is equal to 0 what is ptr pointing it is pointing to x right it's directly pointing to the address which means now it has access to the value of x now how to retrieve value of x it is using star ptr star ptr is equal to x ptr is 100 star ptr is equal to 10 now what i am doing i am making star ptr as 0 so now x value will be replaced with 0 okay using the pointer variable i am trying to change the value of x so these two statements are man this statement is mandatory where ptr value holds the address of another variable now what is the value of x it is 0 now i am trying to print the value of x as 0 understood i will repeat again x is equal to 10 which is stored at address 1000 ptr is again stored at address 2000 uh, at line number 9 when line number 9 is executed ptr value will be 1000 because value that i am assigning to ptr is address of x so ptr is pointing to variable x okay now how do i change the value of x now ptr ptr will be 1000 but star ptr dereferencing operator means it will point to the value of x okay after pointing to the value of x, I am changing the value of x to 0. So, it will change the value of x to 0. So, the output will be 0. The output of x should be 0. See, value is equal to 0. Got it? This is how this code works. That is it. Then, the next question. Static int array of phi comma i. Here, static does not matter. Okay psi so is equal to 0 i less than or equal to phi i plus plus print f percentage d array of i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 0 what is array of 1 array of 0 it is 1 i equal to 1 array of 1 is equal to 1 array i equal to 2 again i of array of i again it will be 1 so what is the answer you will get see here i will trace i is equal to 0 okay 0 is less than 5 less than or equal to 5 correct true it will come inside the for loop what is the output first output you will get array of 0 what is array of 0 i am making it to 1 so this is the first output then it will go back to for loop again i value is incremented to 1 1 is less than or equal to 5 so it is true it will come inside what is array of 1? 1 will be printed. Okay. Then it will print array of 1. What is array of 1 again? It is equal to 1. So, answer will be 1. So, how many times 1 will be printed? 5 times will be printed. So, I have to get for each and every iteration, I will get 5 1. So, let us run the code. Okay. It is 6 times. Why? Because I am moving from 0 to equal to 5. So, if I just remove equal to 5, you will get 5 ones. See 5 ones. It, since it is equal to 5, which means iteration will move from 0 to 5, which means for array of 0, 1, array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, you will get the answer 6 ones. Okay. This is very interesting. Now, just observe printf backslash. Okay, let me run the code. Then you can just easily trace. What I am getting? I am getting only ones. H E L L O. So, what is happening? How many printf statements are there? There are three printf statements. But how many outputs I am getting? I am getting only one ones, one output, right? Come here. Just I will teach you printf backslash n backslash n. That is why I am getting one output, one new line here. A E L L A. Okay, immediately after next printf, it is backslash b. It will print a e l l a. Then after that, it is printing backslash b, which means it will delete one character from the end. So this a will be replaced by o. Okay, it's deleting. Now the cursor is here, right? Before cursor was here. Okay, after after line number seven, it will delete one character from the end and it will replace it with it's replacing it with o. Okay, then line number when line number 8 is executed, it is slash r carriage return, which means my cursor was printing here, right? It will move to the first character, carriage return, and then it will print a, it is replacing a with h. So the answer will be h e l l o. Got it? Say again, I run h e l l o. Okay, I will just comment these two lines. run the code 
A E L L A, right? So uh, let me remove only one line. A E L L O. Then if you remove the eighth line, you'll get H E L L O. Okay. So slash B backspace slash A carriage return. Next question. So if you would have watched my previous video, I would have talked you about increment operator, how increment operators will work. Okay. If you don't know, just observe. Please watch that video and come back so that it will be easy for you to learn this particular code snippet. Int x equal to 2 y. y is equal to plus plus x into plus plus x. x, equal, x minus is equal to 2 printf percentage d 2 values square root of x comma y. What is xqr? I have already defined here. What is xqr? SQR? It's again plus plus b into plus plus b. Okay. Now let me trace the code. What is value of x here? Two. Now come here. What is y value? Y is equal to plus plus x, right? What is plus plus x? Three. Into there's another plus plus x here, so which is four. I've already taught you if there are increment operators. Okay. What will happen here? The first two operands values will change after four. It will change the first operand four. And then it will perform. Now it will become y is equal to 16. 4 into 4 is 16. Understood? I'll repeat. I'll repeat. Please observe here. y is equal to plus plus x means it is 3 into there's one more plus plus x. It's 4. Immediately after this, what will happen? It will go to this particular operand, change the current value of x as 4. This is the current value. So it will change. So y is equal to 16 okay again x equal to what is x value here x equal to x minus what is x value here it was 4 right so current x value is 4 so 4 minus 2 which is nothing but 2 so x value is 2 y value is 16 now it will come here what is happening it is sqr of x come here sqr of x what is the x sqr of sqr of 2 right sqr of 2 that is equal to plus plus what is plus plus b b is 2 so it will be 3 into again plus plus b it is 4 since it is increment operator it will come here it will become 4 what is 4 into 4 is equal to 16 so value of 16 will be sent to this particular line so the output that you will get is 16 by 16 16 and 16 is the answer. Let's run the code. 16 and 16. Okay. You can give some other values and just trace. The next question. Now check the output. You check the output. Then it will be very easy for you to find out. There are two printf statements. Hello backslash x capital A. This is the syntax. Okay, hello, followed by backslash s capital A. What happened? Hello, next line, welcome. So, backslash, it is equivalent to backslash x a is equivalent to backslash n. Backslash n is equal to the new line. Backslash x capital A is equal to new line character. Okay, and that's why I've given you this example. Next one backslash x d backslash x a is for new line backslash x d what will happen it will go it, it acts like a carriage return it is equivalent to backslash r slash x d slash x d will act as equivalent to backslash r okay so what will happen it will come to this particular character first character it will remove a replace it with next printf statement h so you are getting hello okay Next question, slash x b, it will act as a vertical tab, it acts equivalent to a vertical tab, okay. So, it will print hello, it will go to the next line, create new line and then the next one will be printed after a single tab. So, it is equivalent to backslash v, it is equivalent to a vertical tab, okay. Next one, this is quite interesting, observe a string, 
array of characters backslash n so it's coming to new line and it's printing percentage 10.3s percentage 10.3s which means it will ignore point 3 means it will ignore the first three characters h e l okay and it will start printing l o space welcome but from where not from the first column okay it will give 10 spaces and then it will print l o welcome let's run the code you see after 10 spaces it's just printing h e l okay so 10.3 s so after giving 10 spaces okay the first three characters will be considered and it will be printed next one now can you just guess what is the output here printf within printf so printf c interview questions how many characters 1 2 3 it will print c interview questions followed by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 okay so let's run so, so it should print c interview questions followed by 21 so already i had taught you the concepts before okay now coming to scan of statements scanf is within printf scanf is input statement right printf is output statement i'm using scanf within printf so what will happen scanf how many values i'm reading three values right what is the return value of scanf statements the number of inputs that we read how many inputs we are reading here three inputs right it's not the number of characters it is the number of inputs so the return value of scanf will be three okay then printf what is the return value it will print three okay now let's run since it is scanf, it will wait. The cursor will be blinking for me to enter the input. Let me enter 10, 20, followed by 30. So, what is the answer? 3. So, this printf will print 3 because scanf is reading 3 integer values. Okay. So, this is how we can make use of scanf within printf. The next one. If you have understood my previous questions, this would have been very easy okay it will print a garbage value right it will print garbage value because i'm not going to print any values of x y and z it will throw up a warning but it will print a garbage value see see three garbage values these are all warnings because i'm not following the actual format here okay next one this is also very interesting hash define abc the syntax is the same you have to start with percentage s you have to start with percentage s hello which means printf abc comma abc so it will print percentage s hello followed by hello because abc is pointed by hello see percentage s hello followed by hello okay you can make use of uh, turbo c editor in order to find out the answers without any warning Okay, see here. I'll run the code. Now find out what is happening. Printf yes plus five. What is yes? Hello world. Okay. Plus five means it will skip H E L L O. H E L L O. The characters are skipped. The remaining space world is being printed. Okay, if I give six, what will happen? String plus six. So first six characters will be ignored. It will print only world. Now check. It will print only world okay next one this you have to uh, really understand now check here it is plus plus x comma plus plus x what is the answer you have to get S since it is static in x x will start from 0 it will not have a garbage value x value will start from 0 because it is prefixed with static keyword okay now it will come here printf percentage d first value plus plus x what is the answer plus plus x you will get plus plus x you will have 1 correct 0 pre, pre increment so it is 1 second printf it is again plus plus x so what is the answer it will be 2 what is the answer you have to get 1 comma 2 right but the answer will be 2 and 1 because it will start printing from right to left because of 
this increment operators. So the output will be 2 followed by 1, 2 and 1. Got it? It will not be 1, 2, it will be 2, 1 because it will print x, this x plus plus value first and then it will move on to the second one. Got it? Okay? Okay. That's it. Thank you.